Christian, pre-season is now on the way behind us. It's Regis Labrie's first day on Weir side. What can Sunderland fans expect from their new head coach? Well, first of all, everyone's really excited to be back. It's uh, great to get the first day's training. Weather's not been so kind to us today, but um, it won't, it won't jeopardise our work. I think um, in Regis, you're just getting a really thoughtful, really diligent, really detailed coach, tactically really astute. Um, and everything he'll be doing will be geared towards developing the group, developing the team, the individual focus and ultimately winning games. The summer, not without its challenges, we had to bide our time to conclude that deal and bring him to the stadium alike. Yeah, I think look, acquiring the head coach is always a complex process, but I think um, look, it'd be remiss of us not to mention the fact that our comms wasn't great over the summer. Um, that wasn't intentional, you know, the plan was to go out early with information. That became a little bit difficult with how that process went. Um, and even when Kirill made his statement in early June, you know, it was several weeks later that we were actually able to conclude the deal and announce Regis as the head coach. So um, we'll certainly try to improve that element and we really, really respect the patience. As a new season begins, how do you and the wider club reflect on the last campaign? Well, I think, um, look, ultimately no one's happy with how certainly the second part of last season went. There's a little dose of failure there for the staff, the players and myself. And that's not necessarily a bad thing in terms of our drive and desire to want to get better. Um, you know, it's always important to be learning and we're always trying to learn and we've learned a lot about ourselves and each other in that period, which I think hopefully just makes us stronger for the season you know, coming up. And as we preview the new season, you visited the stadium store with Regis last week. The energy was incredible, wasn't it? And a real positive momentum now feels like it's building as we move into July and then obviously the date in August that everybody looks forward to. Yeah, well, I think, look, first of all, the, the staff over at Blackout House that are involved in the new shop, the branding, the kit, done an incredible job. And I think like, it's great to see everyone really, really proud about the work. Um, when you're discussing a new head coach and you're trying to convince a head coach to come to the club, you know, we know how unique Sunderland is and you're trying to tell people about how unique Sunderland is. But um, I think for me to be able to take Regis down, see the store, the fans, and then just walk the line, you know, people patiently waiting, take some autographs and chat to some supporters. I think that gives him a real feeling about what the club's like. And uh, I'm sure you'll get a greater feeling as we move into pre-season and, and more fan interactions and obviously the games. And what's next then? Head coach is in the building, training is underway. What's next on our agenda? Well, certainly we want to make sure this, the pre-season's you know, executed really well. It's all about having really good planning. We want to be really, really good about the pre-season. Um, my ultimate focus is the transfer window, making sure that the squad's in the right place moving forward. And obviously we've already started that work with the goalkeeping changes we made. And then uh, it's also about retaining talent. And hopefully we'll have some good news in the next uh, couple of days on you know, some of our exciting talent.